Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope everyone has had a good week, enjoying the change in the seasons. A little cooler in the morning, uh, in the mornings, a little cooler at night. Kind of like that. Fall's not too far away. Want to jump into today's devotion? And those of you that know me, uh, probably get to keep a little bit out of this first one. Salt life, live salty. Um, not necessarily from a biblical standpoint, but from the uh, aspect of the beach life, uh, salt life. I kind of found that funny because I don't like the beach. I don't like to live where it's salty. Uh, but as Pastor pointed out there on Sunday in a great message, um, we are called to live salty. I'm glad that doesn't mean we all need to move to the beach because I wouldn't be a fan of that. But anyhow... Let's jump right into today's devotion. Uh, Sunday's message came from Matthew 5 and 13. It says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot of men. Um, and so, in that, and the guys have done a great job this week in the devotions. Um, Really enjoyed logos on Monday and Brother Jody and Ron's on Tuesday and Wednesday. So, um, and, and Brother TJ had, um, go back like my note, seven different attributes um, uh, of what salt does. And so I was wanting to look at number four. Number four, um, it preserves. And being a history teacher and Loving to love to watch the old um, Mountain Men and some of the shows like that that talk about you know how that these guys that live back in the mountains and stuff and try to preserve the old ways of life and um, you know the meat and things and how that they would use salt um, to preserve it um, and, and so one of the two well two of the things that I jotted down in my notes is that salt uh, that brings goodness okay um, when we go back to some of the attributes here it says but salt had lost its savor wherewith shall it be salted it's good for nothing okay so when we look at this salt brings the goodness um, it doesn't promote the decay um, but it, it brings the goodness it, it preserves the goodness and you know when we look at that from the standard of the world we know that when Christ created um, the heavens and the earth and, you know, created the earth and in the Garden of Eden, everything was perfect. But then when sin came, um, it has since then been uh, been decaying. That sin has decayed the world and, and it is decaying the world. But we as Christians are called to preserve the, the standard. And what is the standard? Well, Christ is the standard. Um, and so that's what being a Christian means that we are Christ like, that we are called to, you know, um, point everything back to, to the standard, the standard of Christ. And that's kind of what, you know, the analogy of the salt is, is that it is it, preserving the initial plan of what God created, um, everything for, for us to have fellowship with him, but salt, but sin um, it, it's trying to decay everything a, and that goes against God's will. And so I had written down that in my notes. In a world that desires sugar, we are called to be salt. Um, and again, I'm not talking about, you know, it's wrong if you eat candy bars or eat sugar. Um, I may or may not like a good bag of cotton candy from time to time myself. But in the world, when we look at the salt, and the fact that, you know, what does it do? It preserves um, and prevents decay. What does sugar do? Sugar causes decay. So in a world that desires sugar because it's sweet, uh, sugar's easy to eat, um, but it doesn't have a lot of practical usage to it besides the fact that it's satisfying and, you know, um, maybe a quick burst of energy but other than that, sugar doesn't do much to benefit. It doesn't do much in the long term. Too much sugar will be, 
very detrimental um, to us, to our teeth and everything else. And the same thing in the world. When we take on, you know, too much of the sweet things, um, you know, if we stick to just the teeth, that's what's going to cause decay. Um, and so in, in my devotion um, and in what I wrote down in my notes and what really spoke to me the most was preserving, preserving the goodness of God, preserving the things that, you know, um, the standard, the standard of what Christ came to, for this earth. OK, um, it was it was perfect in the beginning, but sin caused a separation. But then he sends his son to pay the ultimate price to bridge that gap. And, and that's what we're to do now. Um, point people back to the gap, to the standard, um, not to promote the decay of the world, but that we need to preserve, preserve the goodness of God. So challenge you with that today. Pray that you have a great day. Um, and keep being salty. Love you all.